Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you how to remove any object or any person from your scene. Alright, I just imported two clips into the timeline and now I go into the color page. The first step is to draw a mask around your object or person. So let's open the window tab and here you can decide which shape you want to use. In my case I want to create a custom mask so I select this symbol and then I just draw a mask around my person. It just should point out the area in which the person will be. And it's really important that your mask always includes every part of your person, like in every frame. Alright, step 1 is done and now we go to step 2 and that's the tracking. So let's go into the tracker tab. Okay, so here you can choose which tracker you want to use. So I can recommend the cloud tracker and point tracker for not moving objects and the IntelliTrack tracker for moving objects. So in my first video clip the person is not moving and that's why I will use the cloud tracker. Now you can select the interactive mode checkbox and here you can see every point of your cloud tracker. So maybe you just don't want some of them like these ones. So I select these ones by pressing the left mouse button. And then I just delete these points. In contrast to this you can also set some points if you want to. Okay and now the tracker will track these points throughout your clip. So let's hit this track forward and reverse button. And now as you can see the person is tracked throughout the clip. Now open the effects tab and search for object removal. Select object removal and drag it on top of your node. Then just hit this scene analysis button. And if the scene analysis is done then just hit this build clean plate button. And now you can see our person got replaced by the grass. And if you are not satisfied with the texture of the replaced plate, then you can just change the search range and the analysis boundary. So for example, I changed the search range to about 60 or 80. And then again I hit this build clean plate button. And now the texture has changed. Alright, now I want to remove a moving object, so I go back into the edit page. I select my second clip and I go back into the color page. So here I want to remove this human. So again I go into the window tab. I create a custom mask of this person. I go to the tracker tab and I change the cloud tracker to IntelliTrack. Then I just add another track point and I change the position of this track point to my person. And again I hit this track forward and reverse button. Alright, so that's the tracking for now. And again I go to effects, I select object removal and I drag it on top of my node. I hit the scene analysis button and I build a clean plate. And now you can see it doesn't look very perfect, so there are some minor lines you can see right here. So to change this I just decrease the search range to zero and again I build a clean plate. And now it looks like this. So with this object removal tool you can add like a ghost effect with the blend slider. So this is really nice I guess. But for the beginning there's also a minor mistake. So you can see a grey shape right here. And that's why I will search for the first frame in which the grey shape won't appear. So that's like one of these frames. And I go back into the edit page and I cut my clip. Then I go to the first part of it. And I go back into the color page. I build a clean plate. Alright. And now I go back into the edit page. I go to effects. To video transitions. And I drag and drop a smooth cut between the two clips. So now you can see the transition looks like this. Alright and that's it for this effect. So I hope this video has helped you. If so then leave a like or a sub to my channel. And check the first link in the description to get some nice effects and transitions for DaVinci Resolve. Okay, thanks to all channel members, thanks for watching, stay creative and bye.